You know, every week we hear Dave talk about a whole lot of horsepower. Brave souls with the will to win. Well, down in the pit area, we have some brave souls with even more horsepower. You bet we do. Think of it, if you will, as a Friday night special. Take a look at the format for tonight. You'll see the accustomed three heats, the 12-lap semi-feature, and the 30-lap main event for the, what, 600-odd horsepower sprint cars. But check it out. A super-modified demonstration of 12 laps. We're talking great thundering gobs of horsepower. About 800 horsepower in those radically offset engines and the legendary driver, Bentley Warren, to boot. We'll be right back. Thunder may be hazardous to walls. Those guys were here last Thursday night. I guarantee you that. Well, here they are, ladies and gentlemen, the Super Modifieds. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be dramatic. And it's Gary and Larry's turn to tell us all about it. Well, you know, Dave, this old racetrack's been around for some 32, 33 years. It ain't seen nothing like this. The Supers, these are the kind of guys who are going to race Saturday night at the Sandusky Speedway, Northern Ohio. 12-lap Super Modified exhibition race with Mike Ordwall and Russ Woods. Starting in the front row. In the second row, Pat Abald and Bentley Warren. There's a pair for you. And in row three, it'll be Dave McKnight. These guys lap this track in 19 seconds. And watch as they're in competition. Watch the top wing. They're on a hydraulic system. They actually move the wing in a level position down the front stretch where they don't need the downforce and then rake it down in the corner where they do need additional downforce. Exactly right. It's uh, it's in the up position now and it'll flatten out going down the straightaway under high speed so that uh, it doesn't have any drag. And it really is spectacular. I mean, these things are fast. They were running in the low 19s and I wouldn't be surprised to see them uh, maybe down in the, below that should they ever come here and run a whole thing. That's Bentley Warren in the number 29 car. He's from Kennebunkport, Maine. I wonder if he had old George Bush or old Buzz. They play golf together. <laughs> yeah, though. right, right. But he's uh, been the perennial champion, of course, at uh, Oswego for years years and years. He owns the Sandusky Speedway, by the way, has for a while, and uh, he still enjoys running these things, and he uh, runs the sprint cars when he gets a chance. I know he ran the little 500 a couple times and wherever he gets a chance. I tried to twist his arm to run a sprint car this evening and say, well, if there's a six-cylinder available, I'll run it. He likes those sixes. He's uh, he's raced for uh, the Glenn Nival group uh, a few times, and here they come, a 12-lap exhibition, the first time ever on the Oval at Raceway Park. Three wide down the front straightaway. Look at that move on the inside by Abel. Couldn't make it work, though. Abel trying to move down on the inside. He's a two-time Isma champion. Trying to move in there and get the lead right away. Could not do it, though. Watch the wing now on your leader. Your leader is cut over 26, Mike Wardway. Now watch the wing flatten out down the front stretch and rip down in the corner. And there goes Bentley Warren on the inside, trying to take over second position from car number 27, Russ Wood. Wood on the high side, Warren on the low side, and once again, the fastest cars we have ever seen here at Indianapolis Raceway Park. And that's Bentley Warren, who did make the pass in the second position there, doing a nice job. That black car back there is Dave McKnight, Jr., and he is all over the rear of Russ Wood. Won't take long to run 12 laps at this speed. No, it sure won't. You see the two white cars out front, the two black cars running second, third, and Abel running back there in uh, last position. Like I said, he's a two-time national champ, 92 and 93, and it's, it's tough here. They got a bunch of fast race cars. And now they start to close in on those two leaders. Watching a move back there in fourth position as the black car of Dave McKnight Jr. took a look on the inside of Russ Wood, elected not to attempt to pass. And a ball runs in fifth position in the red 05. But look at Bentley Warren. He's closed right up on the tail right now of Mike Ordway. And he's going to try to find a way. Let's see. He's, they just ran a 19.2 on that last lap, Gary. 129 that, miles an hour on the average. That is flat hookup. Well, the teammates are running one. Two, and look at this. Third, fourth, fifth, closing in. We're going to have a shootout here with the last two or three laps. Bentley Warren tries the inside, tries to get that shot down on the inside. He's going to pull up the side of him. Let's see if he can do this. Oh, boy, and look at the outside. Look at 27. Here comes Russ Wood on the high side. He dives to the low side. These guys are supposed to put on an exhibition. They're racing faster now than they practiced earlier. That's right. I thought they were going to go out there and put on a race, but I'll tell you what, Bentley Warren made a nice move on the inside right there, and when he pulled back up, it kind of made things get back in line in behind him. As we can see right there, that's Abold in the red car in fourth spot. He moved up as, 
Yeah, Mike Hardway's moving down to the inside. Watch the wing. Now watch the wing. See the rake? See the attitude of the wing through the corner? Now watch it down the back stretch. It levels out. How about that for technology? <laughs> And now, there it goes, rakes back down. Russ Wood on the outside, the black car. Takes second position, set sail for Bentley Warren. Now, the real reason for them coming here, there is some talk of staging a race with these cars here in 1995. I think the fans would love it. I tell you what, they uh, they do flat get around this racetrack. 500 something, and we look at this. Russ Wood takes over the lead as he goes into one. And Here comes McKnight on the high side of Abel coming off the corner, but he gets squeezed a bit. Yeah, these cars run over 500 cubic inches, over 800 horsepower. A big race coming up on Saturday at uh, Sandusky Speedway, a flat half mile. They get around up there real fast. Abel has moved fifth spot up to second. This race, he's right. As we come around this time, there's been two laps to go. He's right on Bentley's tailpipe. Warren continues to lead as A-Ball dives to the inside, tries to take him coming off the corner, has a look to the inside, stays low down the back stretch, makes the pass. White flag this next time out. Two of the best in the business right there, running nose to tail off the corner, one lap to go. Looks like it'll come down on one lap shootout, and there goes Bentley on the inside. Side by side, can he make it stick? Oh, well, they almost get together. <laughs> Pretty close. They, they touch those babies at that speed. Well, you're going to see the sparks fly, I guarantee you. We'll see somebody taking a ride. Still side by side, through three, into four. Look at that almost touching wheels coming off the corner. Who's going to win it? <laughs> oh, get out the camera. Who won it, right? Uh, I don't know. I couldn't call that one. We, we said this was an exhibition. You think maybe they did that on purpose? Well, I don't That's know. I'll tell you what. They were running plenty close up there, three and four for, for uh, not an exhibition. Trying. That's right. That's right. Anything can happen at those kind of speeds. And uh, you touch wheels, it's a photo finish. Let's see if we can tell from this replay who won. Well, here they are, wheel to wheel through three. That's Bentley on the inside, A-Ball on the outside, off the corner, side by side. They're going to give it to Bentley by about six inches. We're coming back. Stay with us.